Hi, I'm Lily Jackson, and welcome to today's demo. In this video, I'll be talking about using cane panels in furniture. Cane webbing made from woven strips of rattan has been around for ages. Even King Tut had a rattan daybed in his tomb. Cane panels are often used in seating as well as other furniture components. And the great thing is that these days you can get it in pre-made rolls. In fact, Rockler has been selling woven cane since we began in 1954. Today we're going to use this console to demonstrate how to install cane webbing. And if you like this project, there is a link to free plans in the video description. The reed spline we used calls for a 5 16 inch wide by 5 16 inch deep channel. We used a router table to cut this channel in the door frame. Install a 5 16 inch router bit and set the bit height to 5 16. Position the router table fence 1 and 3 quarters inch from the edge of the router bit. Place tape on the fence and mark lines that align with the edges of the router bit. Place tape on the back face of the door frame near the corners of the opening and mark 1 13 16 inch from the outside edges of the door frame. These mark the ends of each channel cut. This will result in a cut that is a little short, but it will help prevent us from cutting past the adjacent channel. To cut the channels, start the router and line up one of the left end marks on the door frame with the left router bit lying on the fence. Carefully plunge the door frame down on the bit and push the frame to the left until the mark on the right end of the cut meets the right router bit mark. Stop the cut and turn off the router. Once the router stops spinning, lift the frame off the bit and repeat this process to cut the channels on the remaining three sides. We made a simple miter cut jig from plywood and miter cut the reed spline pieces to length. Next, submerge the cane webbing and reed spline pieces in water. Soak them for 30 minutes. Apply a bead of hide glue in the bottom of the channel on one side of the door frame. Center the cane webbing over the door opening. Be careful to align it so that the pattern is square to the door. Use a wedge to force the cane webbing down into the channel. Then line up the reed splines over the cane webbing and in the channel. Use a mallet to tap the spline into the channel, working back and forth along the spline. The spline will sometimes pop out of the channel as you move along. Keep working back and forth until the spline starts to wedge itself into the channel. Then use a board and mallet to pound the spline all the way down to the bottom of the channel. Repeat this process for the remaining reed splines on each side of the cane webbing. We clamped a piece of plywood on top of the spline and let it dry for a couple days. Finally, trim the excess cane webbing with a chisel. Carefully cut through the spline without cutting into the door frame. Work around the entire frame. Well, that's it. I hope you found today's video interesting and hopefully learned something new. I'm Lily Jackson. Thanks for watching.